All right, we are live. I'm just going to turn my camera around. Oh, you can see this the snow. It's a snow day in New Jersey. I'm going to turn my camera this direction. I'm doing this a little different in the house, so bear with me. I don't have my streaming uh, stereo here. Oh, where is it? There we go. I think I'm all set. How's it look? Does it look good? Is there some audio here too? All right, give me a minute. Yeah, all right, things look good. It's just awkward for me because typically when I'm doing a live, I hear myself in the stereo and I have music. So there's gonna be no music today just because of the fact that we were supposed to be filming and so all my equipment is actually at that location. But it doesn't stop us from working out, right? We're gonna do a 10 minute ab section and then follow it up with some great stretching and mobility work because I've been hearing from you guys that you're super sore from the four week strength program. We're halfway through, you're doing amazing. I'm just gonna let you go know that the next phase, weeks three and four, I switch the, the combination of the body parts just a little bit and a couple of them get a little bit longer because we're adding in some isolation muscle, isolation exercises to really shred your body. So comment below if you've been sore as crap. And if you have been following the two week pro, uh, the four week challenge, if you haven't, make sure you start at week one and then just go right through it. If you're doing the workouts, four days of strength in a row might be too much. You could break it down where you do two strength workouts, do some mobility, stretching or cardio, and then do two more. I wanna make sure I start on time. I'm still a little bit early. Uh, so ask me any questions if you have any questions, you guys. Good morning. Yeah, it's snowy in New York, right? It's snowy here. Like it shuts down. We had the phone call last night that there was no school. And we're all like, crap, because we were supposed to film on Tuesday and everything got shut down Tuesday because we had a little bit of snow. Anything else? You guys want any other information? Oh, Julie, you're loving the challenge. Hey, I just want to make sure too, you guys, um, I've been putting this out there because magnesium is actually something that a lot of us are low in. And if you've been sore as crap from the workouts, magnesium can actually be one of your best friends here. It helps with the muscles for recovery, can make you relax. It's actually good for brain functionality too. And if you're having like this like uh, like achy, restless legs at nighttime, it's been known to really help out with that. Check it out. I'll, um, I don't have a link for it right now. Maybe I can get someone to put a link in the description box and um, we can get you can get 20% off, you guys. Cool? All right. I am gonna get started. I'm used to just having like some music, but we're gonna be we're gonna be quiet. So if you want to put on some music, go ahead, put some music on. I am gonna get my timer set up here. Good morning, Gloria. You're freezing. Yeah. I know, and I'm going to Michigan soon. I think on February 3rd, I'm heading to Michigan just for like 20 hours. Um, we're gonna go look at the University of Michigan. They just won the national championship, woohoo. If you haven't been following, so my son, he plays football, so that's where he's got an offer to is Michigan, so we're gonna go visit. I'm gonna have you guys start on your back looking at the ceiling. This is like you're working out with me in my house today, right? We're gonna do a scissor movement. Good morning, Terry. Good to see you guys. I know this was totally last minute live. I have a timer set. Take a deep breath, roll your shoulders back. We're gonna be bracing that core. We're adding a lot of leg movement to this to go deeper into your abs, right? And this one's for you, Tina. So the movement's gonna look like this. We're gonna scissor the legs up and down. Head is up, legs are straight, start your scissor. In the scissor, you want your eye gaze to be a little bit down to your knees or your thighs, and you could go slow, you could go fast. If your neck gets really tense and tight, hey, you could grab a pillow, you could even have the arms down and the head down. and then just let your breath flow. I 
And again, you can change the tempo. We have 10 seconds left. We're gonna flip into a plank. You're up. Onto your hands and toes or hands on a bench. I take my knee internally, rotate it, tap it to the middle and step back. Start. Knee comes in and switch. And I'll turn from the side too. So you see my knee goes inward, step back. So internal rotation. And that fires the obliques a little bit more with the transverse, that deep core muscle. So again, the foot goes out, knee goes in. And I'm kind of dropping the knee below the chest line, around belly button area. Press through the heels of your hands. And then we're gonna come onto our back in a few, three seconds. On your back, front knee, front knee, and then kick. Elbows wide, rotate to the knee, and then kick and reach for the ankle. When you rotate, really look a little bit out and over. When the knee is, or the leg is moving, especially on the up part, push your back into the mat. Finish the kick, and then we're switching sides here. So we're gonna go to the back knee. Ready, rotate, and kick. And you're trying to touch that elbow to the inner thigh, and then reaching for the ankle. yourself good range of motion here. Then we're gonna flip into forearm plank. And we're gonna do a bird dog. So I lift front arm, back leg and switch or on hands and knees. So you have that option, hands and knees or forearm plank and hold it for that one, two, and then switch. Then again, you want to pull up and in. Hey, you can hold longer if you want. Remember arm reaches by the ear, glute squeezes. And again, pull up and into the waist. Flipping onto your back, a hip lift with a leg drop. I don't know if you can see the timer, right? Hip lift, leg drop, hips up, Legs lower. So it's a little quicker and it's slow. And I'm gonna keep my head up the whole time.
you're having a hard time getting the hips up. You can anchor back on your weights if they're behind you. Uh, whew, on your elbows or stay on your back. Crisscross, pop open the chest, legs extend, open close. And then brace, pull up and into that waist. If your neck is a little bit tense, look over one side shoulder and the other. Maybe a little faster. My long legs makes it harder. I'm getting hot now. Go back to some big side forearm plank. Feet in line with the hips. I'm lifting up hip and leg. Pause, release. Uphold, release down. If you want to be in a side plank and just stack and hold, you can. We're going to get underside and top side oblique by adding the leg. You bring it up, you're going to bring it down. I really need that hold at the top. There you go. You almost hold your breath and then let it go. My hand is behind my head and it's like I'm pushing my head into my hand. All right, swing around. And if you're at home and you need a big mat, yoga Rilla, definitely go for it. Uphold. Release the hip. And again, I have feet in line with hips and shoulders. Knees are out in front. And again, you're gonna up, hold, breathe. Actually, you hold your breath there for a moment, right? So you guys, we've got two moves to go. Actually, one move. This is number nine. On your back. We're gonna kick the leg, arms in T, and clap underneath the knee. And switch. You can do bent knee. You don't have to come all the way up. You can keep the legs elevated. Don't let them touch the floor. Oh yeah. That's like that ab move that we do on leg day, right? And then if you come back to this workout, you wanna make it a little harder, add some ankle weights or take your one pound wrist weights around your ankles. Super job. All right, just take a moment, lengthen your legs, reach your arms. I'm gonna turn my timer off. Oh, you did great. Okay, move on. So let's work on some mobility and some flexibility. I'm gonna have you rock yourself up and we're gonna do an up dog with a scorpion movement here. So come to your belly. I need to rock my hips a little bit side to side. Hands right around the shoulder area, feet open, 
a good shoulder width apart. Inhale as you lift up into up dog. And stay here for a moment. And then we're gonna release, take the front arm, reach it to me. We're gonna do scorpion back leg bends. And I bring that foot to my hand and hold. Drop your head down. All right, back into up dog. Hands by the shoulders, lift up. Release down, other arm, scorpion, other leg. Take a moment, maybe the foot touches the floor and the knee opens up. All right, back, let's do up dog. And release scorpion, front arm reach, bend the knee. Bring it back. Maybe again the foot touches, maybe the knee pushes open a little bit. Relax your head. Up dog. Lift. And switch that back arm. Scorpion. So if your foot can't plant, man, you got some tight quads. That can pull in your back. Push that knee open too. can wreak havoc on your posture. All right, up dog. Hold. And then push yourself. So from there, just pull the abs in. Push to child. Pull forward into a little up dog. Pull the feet to your butt, chest up. Do that again. Push back. Inhale forward. One more. Pull forward. Pull your for self forward like you're dragging yourself on the mat. And then release. Wrist walking. Turn your fingers to point to your knees and then just kind of walk the hands a little bit forward and then you're going to walk them back because you've been holding on to some heavy dumbbells right the last few Weeks. Let's do another walk. All right, fingers to heel. You could even like really exaggerate it. And then release. Roll the wrist. You can make figure eights. All right, here's that figure eight. Maybe it goes out in front. And roll the shoulders. We're going to do down dog crouch. So get into a down dog. In a down dog, push your heels down, pull the belly up and in, and then feel like you're pushing the hips up to the sky. Now you're going to crouch. Crouching means you're going to bend the knees. You're going to push into the hands and send your butt back, bending the knees. And then we're going to straighten it out, lift the back leg to single leg down dog. Hold. Again, pushing through the hands. Now drop your front heel and open that leg up. So you're trying to do the splits, right? <laughs> All right, leg goes down, crouch again. Straighten it out and then leg up. Switch the legs. Take a moment, get more out of it. Foot goes down, crouch. Push into the hands, straighten out, back leg up. Open up. We're going to do a couple more. Crouch, pause, straighten it out, front leg. We're going to do one more on each side here. Crouch back, straight legs, leg up. Open a little bit more, come on, and foot down, crouch. Other leg up. Make sure you're stretching that heel of that standing leg. And then foot down, hold down dog for a moment. Knees down. And then bring some blood back down, right? Roll the shoulders. 
Ah, ear to shoulder, one side, and ear to shoulder, one more time. Keep length in your torso. We're gonna take your right foot, step it forward into lunge. We're gonna do runner's lunge. That means the back knee comes off the floor and we're moving in it. So let the hips kinda sink a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that knee. You can either keep that kickstand or flat foot, pull yourself back and then side reach. Toes come up in front, hamstring. Runner's lunge. Sink a few times. Lift the hips, kind of pump them up and down. Knee goes down, pull yourself back. Side stretch, hamstring. You can do toes up too, right? Let's do one more. Runner's lunge. Right. Knee goes down, push back, side stretch. Hamstring. All right, wide straddle, just for a moment. Knees out, just squat, bring your eyes up. And then this lunge to the left. Or switch your legs, make sure you're lunging on your left leg. And then here's that runner's lunge, move the hips up and down. Drop the knee, pull yourself back, and then side stretch. You should get it all up in front here, right? And then hamstring, or you can go straight leg or toes up. Runner's lunge, sink. Hmm. Knee down, reach. All right, so push the hips forward. You can grab the wrist. Oh yes, get a little more stretch. And then hamstring, we get one more of these. Runner's lunge. Now, mobility, flexibility, if you wake up in the morning and you feel tense and tight and really sore, you need to include this stuff into your routine. All right, knee down. Even if you just do five or 10 minutes, like even if it's just five minutes, it's more than zero, it adds up. All right, hamstring, because I can, I'll wake up in the morning and I feel great. Like, especially if I continuously do this, like it, for me, it needs to be almost four or five times a night. All right, from that position, I'm gonna have you guys take yourself into all four. If you need a little, all right, roll the shoulders. We're gonna thread. So on all four, pick an arm, right? It's gonna thread through. Shoulder goes to the ground. I turn my other hand a little bit in, look to the back hip and lean into the shoulder. This one we're just gonna hold. If you want to, the, the back hand that's kind of turned in, you can reach it forward if you want to, and then push yourself back a little bit. I'm pushing a little bit back and into my shoulder. That feels good. All right, take one more deep breath here and then just sink a little bit more and then we're coming out. All right, other side. So if you need a little aw, in your low back, it's good to do that. Take the other arm, thread it through. Turning the other hand in, look to your back hip. And then again, if you want to, you can reach that front arm I know the mic is like right by my mouth here, huh? 
and then push into the shoulder. Sometimes your back cracks, right? It's so quiet in my house. How about your house? Take a big inhale. Let it go. Push. Come out of it. Ooh. All right, so we did some flexion forward. Let's do some reverse movement. Camel. If your knees are bothering you, come up to standing and you're gonna do hand in the back with extension. Otherwise, I'm on my knees. My knees are open. My feet are together. Either hand in the back or to the foot. I'm gonna push my hips forward. I'm actually gonna open up my feet. So this is camel as I'm reaching back. I'm pushing the hips forward and then come up gracefully and switch. Maybe the arm reaches a little bit further back and switch. We need spinal mobility, especially as we're aging. Switch. And one more on each side here. Look back too. Up and last one. And release. Ooh, all right. I have you guys coming into a 90 and 90. <clears throat> And we're gonna throw pigeon into this. So open the feet up wide and we drop the knees to one side. So I got these two 90s. And then we're gonna drop the chest. So go ahead and drop chest, hold. You can kind of lower down as far as you can. We get into some of the glutes here. And then bring it up and other side. Up and over to the first side. So this is great for internal external rotation of the hip joint. And of course your glutes. Up and over. And then maybe next time when you move the legs, maybe you don't touch the floor. Let's sink a little bit more. This is my tight side. All right, so see if you can lift the hands and then do the legs and drop. And lift the hands, do the legs, ooh, and drop. We're gonna come on our back. Elbows are completely down, so it depends on what feels good for you. So I'm gonna be on my elbows, but obviously you can go all the way down to the ground. Extend your legs. All right, just shake them up for a moment. Pull that right knee in. So let it drag and then come into the chest, open it out, and then take it back in, slide it down. So it comes in, open, in and down. Let's do one more. As it's opening out, your foot can drop for a moment. Let the knee kind of weight down and then bring it in. All right, let's do the other leg. In, open out, reach it out in front. We're gonna do one more. And then go all the way down on your back, hug the knees into the chest. Just give it a good oh, stretch in that low back. And then we're gonna rock up to standing. All right. Good morning. 
feet are good shoulder width apart, hands behind the head. Open your chest up and then push the hips back. You know, you guys have been doing a lot of deadlifts, so you know how to do this, right? You push your hips back, have the knees soft, and then push your head into your hands for a moment. Pause, elbows wide. <clears throat> and then as you come up here, press through the heels, push your knees back a little bit and rise up. So now you got the position. Good morning. Pause, hold, elbows back, head pushes into hands. Rise up. Let's do two more. I'm holding my breath when I go into that position. One more time. Now remember when you're coming up, press through the heels and then push your knees back a little bit. You're almost straightening them out and relax. Keep your hands here. You're gonna bring this elbow in, drop your chin down, open back up. Other elbow in, drop chin down and you're up. Really push your elbows back. So we're just getting a neck stretch, chest opener. Two more. And then reach it up. We're gonna go into wide lateral lunges here. Shift over to your right side. And these are great for ankle mobility. So just start to kind of move through it. Get a little deeper. My toes are turned out. These toes are turning the other direction. Now I'm gonna hold, All right, hold it here. Push the knee open. Give me a little bit of a, a right angle position here. Reach it, back up, reach it one more time. And then sink in your hip. Look at my heel comes up. I'm gonna push this elbow into the knee. Straighten it out, do it again. If you want to add arm, we'll do one more. And then lunge to the other side. So just start with a kind of sink it, warm up the ankle. How about your calves too from doing the workouts in the strength program? Oh, right, have they been sore or what? Hold it, knee out, a right angle. Reach, back up, one more. Push that knee open, then when you're ready to, sink. All right, my heel comes up, push that knee open, release, do it again, add arm if you want to. Release, let's do one more. All right, sumo squat. Turn those feet out. And then chest is up. We drop the butt down. Now, eventually you wanna to try to get this feet in as a little bit closer when you have more, uh, I guess, flexibility in your hips, mobility. And I'm just moving my feet in a little bit more, pushing the knees out. Oh, we should all be able to do this, right? If you can't, Start using your wall. Put your butt up against the wall and slide down and get into this position. All right, straighten it out. And we're coming up. Now I saved the best for last. The deep quad stretch. Using your wall or like you could use your, your couch. You could put your foot up on the edge of the couch. I'm gonna have my knee <clears throat> on this pad and as close to the wall as I can get it. And the foot is up on the wall. Oh, like you can already feel it, right? And then you just start to kind of work your way back. Oh my goodness, right? <clears throat> and this one here, you can't cheat. Now, if you don't have the wall at home, you can lie on your side, you could pull the heel to the butt, you could stand. This just gets right in there. So if your quads have been really sore, we sometimes need to kind of open them up a little bit, spread them out. But usually when you have delayed onset muscle soreness, there's micro tears in your muscle and it needs time to recover. And if you don't give it recovery time, it actually won't build up. You can damage it, you can get injured. 
So when you're really, really sore, what do you do? You do what we call like recovery workouts. So it could be, <clears throat> sorry, like the standing cardio core that we do, Pilates. Oh, I would stick, stick with more of the Pilates stuff and not yoga, uh, not like the, what's the one? Oh, not bar. You could do some yoga and Pilates. All right, now you want more? Uh, reach up. And, oh, I'm gonna have to come out. Oh, how about you? That was deep and intense. Oh, but you know what helps too? Foam roll, like foam roll first and then do the stretch. You could do that. The switch knees. But your couch is really good too. Like if you put your knee down on the ground on a pad and you put your foot up on the edge of the couch, this works, it works really well because it's very padded for your foot. All right, this is not so bad, this side, right? Ah, oh, relax everything else. And then when you feel like you kind of got that a little bit looser, right, it's just, remember, consistency. I bet you if you did this every single day for two weeks, you'd have an, a big difference. It's just, if you did it, even if you did each side for just 30 seconds each, that's one minute out of your day. Like, think about it. When you brush your teeth two times a day for just two minutes each, it's oral health. It takes care of your, your teeth. So if you just do a little bit of that, it takes care of your mobility and flexibility and you feel good. All right, just reach it back and you get more out of your workouts. And it prevents injury. Oh my gosh, look at all those great benefits. All right, how about another breath? Oh, okay. Release. Oh, and then I need to take my legs out in front. Give them a little wiggle. Butterfly is always good, isn't it? Feet together, knees open, grab the toes, drop the chest. Do you feel better, right? This is where you have to get this connection of, man, I just feel so much better when I do that because when we have that positive connection, that creates habit. All right, I need a little bit of this too. You did amazing. You got some great core work in today, mobility and flexibility. I'm not gonna stand up because I know my camera won't track me here. I'm just gonna come to my knees, roll the shoulders back, lengthen through the torso. Oh, if you want some stretch in your toes, right? Tuck your toes and then sit back, right? Just take a couple of deep breaths here. And then a big inhale, reach it out, reach it up. Reach it back. Oh, pull it into your heart. Touch the skin. Feel your heart beating. And one more deep breath. Let it go. Oh my gosh, yay. I'll we celebrate and get the connection of how you feel because that'll keep you coming back. And that's what I want. I want you to feel your best, do your best. Hey, you're halfway through the four week strength program. Come back to this stretching. I know I have some other mobility and stretching workouts that are there for you guys, but the thing is you have to do it. Like it's just like the strength training and it, like all those little components, they add up to big results. Ah, thank you so much for taking time out of yourself. I'm so excited that I was able to do this with you guys. Sorry, no, um, no music. I think what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll add music to it, maybe cut out a few little extra things and bring put it back on YouTube for you guys. But enjoy the rest of the day. It's a snow day here in New Jersey. It's, I don't know, it's not that snowy. <laughs> but the kids were excited to not have school, I'm sure, right? Last year they had no snow days, so I guess this is the year for snow. I'm gonna say thank you to all of you guys for being here. Yes, Tina, I did the abs for you today. That was all for you, Tina. I know you're in the UK. Donna, good to have you with me. Tilly, Ram, 
who else is here today? Angela, good to see you. I uh, wish I was in Florida. Oh, and there is the magnesium. So if you want to get the magnesium, you can get 20% off, right? The link is in the chat here. So definitely check it out. If there's, you know, the thing is, is that supplements are, are there to add value to your life. You know, if you feel like you need something, sometimes it's good, a good option. If you need, uh, if you have any questions, definitely ask me, but maybe it's best to consult your doctor if you have any medical issues. Oh, I just see my son driving up. Uh, and he was slipping and sliding on the road. But that is it. Oh, the Philippines. Oh, good to see you. Uh, all right, that's it. I am out of here. I'm going to go and drink some more water and have me some a slice of bread and some eggs, right? So you got to fuel your body so that it has that energy for those workouts. All right, you guys, I am out of here. Have an awesome day. I love you. Bye-bye.